What's up everybody, my name is Casper. welcome back to Make More. So it's a little bit of a sad day because Stan Lee, the person who made the two characters in front, not the one in the back, but the two characters in the front died yesterday. Stan Lee had a very special place in my heart and a lot of other people's heart. I even got Iron Man tattooed on my leg because it's, it's so meaningful to me. But it's it's not a sad video, but it's a I'll not call it a tribute or anything like that because I think it's a little bit of a of a shame to to do such a thing um, at the time right now. So I just want to make this video, uh, and if you are on the video right now, uh, you will thinking what are you talking about? How to print iron on a normal uh, printer on the Creality C10s Pro, and you can actually print some kind of metals, but it's it's not what the video is all about. The video is all about how to get the look of a metal printing uh, thing. Um, you can print on metal and you can polish it and you can do stuff like that, but it's super expensive. I don't have that kind of money just to flow, uh, throw at filaments and take a chance that everything will just work. Um, so. I learned this method uh, like two years ago or something like that. You're gonna need a couple of things. Uh, your, your favorite brand of silver paint. You're gonna need a piece of paper to dry off the brush onto. And you're gonna need a brush. I'm using like, if you guys know, it's a number 12. I don't know what that's gonna mean, but the Deathpool character I made, I think it's looking it's looking a lot like metal, but I think I can be better at it. But I want to show you how to do it and do it cheaply. So you don't have to buy super expensive iron filaments just to get the look of iron. And iron filaments can be a little bit of a pain in the air. First off, shake the paint. Oh, silver, shiny. Put a little dab of paint onto the plate, take your brush, dip it in the paint, take the paint, dry off the paint, it's gonna sound weird but follow me here, dry off the paint and begin to brush. So I'm now done painting the Thanos bust. It's super nice. If you want to see more of, uh, of what I'm doing and how it's going to look in uh, better pictures and stuff like that, you can also follow my Instagram account. It will be linked with a picture you just have to scan with your phone. So just pause the video now. Ha! <laughs> I got you! So just pause the video now and you can scan it and you can see all the things I'm going to make or already have been making or stuff like that. But this is technique. You need, to, this is the technique. You need to use a brush, silver paint and a piece of paper. You need to use the technique called dry brushing. I think it was the prop guy. I actually saw the video like a couple of years ago. His video on it, super good video, a super nice guy. He's like a super famous YouTuber, so yeah, super nice guy. Maybe, I don't know, but I think he is. This is just a quick tutorial on how to do it yourself. You can actually print iron materials on your printer, but it's not the easiest thing in the world to do, so this is the best way to work around it. 
the filament I have been using is the matte black filaments coming from 3DE Expert in Denmark. Hashtag not sponsored. This is, is this, it's not a tribute to Stan Lee because I'm not good enough to make stuff for Stan Lee. But I would like to do this if Stan Lee was here and he asked me I will, I will do anything for him. And I will especially make these models just to show him. But he's not here anymore. Rest in peace Stan Lee. Okay. I am a big Marvel fan and Stan Lee have been meaning a lot to me. These couple of models is not good enough to show my gratitude and thank you so much to Stan Lee and all the people who made the Marvel movies and stuff like that. I would love just I would just like to say thank you so much and stay awesome. Bye.